So guys over here. In this video we're going to be doing activities on Shardium testnet to get the potential error drop on the benefits in the future. And as usual before we begin a couple of disclaimers. First nothing here is financial advice, always do your own research. Second there is no guarantee of any error drop or the benefits. And lastly all information is provided as is so follow at your own risk. And as always, all links gonna be in description. Now what's going on with blockchain currently? So Beria testnet Sphinx having some severe issues and it's basically not functional. So today we're gonna be doing activities on Liberty 2. And then later when everything gets fixed and maybe we have more working depths on chain, we'll come back and do the activities on Sphinx. So for these activities, we're gonna be using MetaMask. In order to add the chain, we can go to chain list, click include test nets, and then type in Shardium. And as you can see, we got Liberty 1X, Liberty 2X, and Sphinx, and we need to add Liberty 2X. I already did that. Just click add to MetaMask. Next, we need to get some test net tokens on Shardium, that's SHM token. There are several faucets, I tested the majority of them. For our current goals, I would say just go to the Discord, join the Discord obviously first, verify yourself, and then you can use it. Uh, you go to this channel, Liberty Faucet 21, and you use the command slash faucet with your wallet address, and it will send you 100 SHM. You can do that every 12 hours. I will link other faucets as well in case you need a higher amount of tokens. And then I'm gonna go do some transactions on chain. The first app is swapped. And here, I mean, it's pretty standard uh, DEX. Here you can swap, provide liquidity. Now apps that I'm showing in this video, I already tested them today and they sort of work fine. That being said, some transactions may fail. So here what I would suggest swap some SHM into the USDC, then go to pools and add SHM and USDC into the pool. Also what I found here to get transactions through because on default settings they were failing a lot. When you swap in, increase the slippage. Uh, default slippage is 0.5% and on that slippage a lot of transactions were failing for me. I don't know why when I set it to 2% they started going through. And also when you get a pop on MetaMask, for example, you can increase the gas limit. That also helped me in some transactions. Not much else you can currently do here. The faucet is not working. Farming, as far as I understand, is in development. So just swap, pull and move on. And for the second DEX, we have Shardex. And this one actually worked better for me. So you can do a couple things here. First, you can wrap your SHM tokens and I will suggest you to do that. Again, if transactions are failing, try to increase the slippage and increase the gas limit. I click edit and here you can increase it, let's say X2. Then you have a lower chance uh, of transaction to fail. Then I would suggest swap SHM into their native token SDT. And once you've done that, we can go to the earn tab. You can go to pool and then you can stake your SDTs to get some reward. And then we can go to the farms and we see three farms here. So if you did the same as I did, you wrapped your SHM and then you swap to SDT, we can actually stick to this one. First, we need to get the LPs. For that, we basically go into the liquidity. We can stake this, click supply, confirm, and that should give us the LPs. And once LPs are in your wallet, you can stick them into the farm. Unfortunately for me today, as on liquidity transactions, even if I increase the gas, they're failing. Hopefully that will be fixed soon. And also what we got here, you can go to reward tab and browse through the information here. This is the Shardex waitlist. You can invite some uh, people to join Shardex using your referral link. And then you will be eligible to mint your Shardex SBT, Soulbound token, which 
then again make you eligible for the potential uh, error drop in the future. You will also need to connect your Twitter here and your Discord. And I'm sure there is way more information you can find about this campaign on their Twitter or the Discord. So these are DEXs. I tried to use other DEXs and DeFi applications, uh, but they are not working. I will also link them in description. So maybe they will be working when you watch that. These are chain hash. Daisy Finance and Shardify and also Dexpad.io that's a token minting application also I was unable to do that today. Next we go on to the Sprio.xyz that's an NFT marketplace and here you can mint your NFT and you can also buy and sell. To mint you just uh, select any picture, give it a title, description select the collection there's only one currently available you click create pay the gas and um, it will be minted i mean it's the usual drill pretty much as you can see it has been minted but as it said it may take some time for it to appear in your profile so you can you can go explore collections or explore the nfts so the problem for buying is that some of this stuff doesn't really work so if you click the buy now, it's supposed to only show you the NFTs with the buy now option. However, some of these, they do not have this option. You can try to browse some of these. As you can see, there's no way to buy it now. You can only make offer. I mean, you can also make offer. That's, a, that's also on chain. So yeah, in terms of buying, you can just make offers or try to uh, find the NFT that you can buy. And also you can sell your own. This seems to be still loading, but you can already sell the NFT. You need to approve. The interface is kind of um, wacky at the moment, I would say. It's uh, completely non-intuitive, but nevertheless, compared to other application, it actually works. So after it loads up, it will ask you for the price and you set uh, the price and then you're done pretty much in terms of selling. Need to confirm. Oh, that failed. Should have increased the gas, I guess. Okay, so if we close that, you don't need to approve again. You have to put the price and then try to redo the transaction. I'll just increase the gas limit. See if it goes through. I think increasing gas limit in general, like it's a good idea. If you see a lot of transactions failing, there you go. Transaction confirmed. It's weird because MetaMask confirmation popped like 30 seconds ago and this is still, well, well there you go, like a 30 second delay on this window. And also if you go to explore, the other problem I forgot to mention is that for some reason sorting only goes from either from newest or the oldest. There is no way to sort it by price. Well, this is actually our NFT as you can see. So yeah, just play with that marketplace as much as you want. And we are moving on to .shm. Make sure that you connect into Liberty 2.1. And then you can actually mint yourself a .shm domain. I already minted one today, but we can just check the interface here. As you can see, it says it's available and you can register it. Currently fee is at 11 SHM. Obviously it's all on the test net. However, if you really want to keep your SHM domain, they uh, do offer a service where you pay on Polygon. And in that case, you will not lose your SHM domain uh, on the beta and when mainnet goes live. And lastly, we're gonna deploy a template smart contract really quick. So if you follow the open Zeppelin link in description, here you can set up your parameters for uh, token name and the symbol. 
and put how much tokens you're gonna pre-mint. And once you did that, you click open and remix, wait for your code to load. You don't need to change anything here. You can just go to the compiler, click compile, and we're gonna go to deploy and run. Here you need to select injected provider MetaMask. Sign the MetaMask, be sure that this is your wallet address and also check if you are currently on Shardium, you should be on Shardium Liberty. And here you just click deploy, confirm transaction on the MetaMask and wait for the confirmation in the bottom window here. There you go, if you see this uh, green check mark, transaction is confirmed. Then you see here the new list of deployed contracts. If you click here, you can see methods that you can call uh, for this smart contract. Let's do the transfer. Don't click on the button itself. Click here. Then what you can do, you can put your address. You can put the amount and we click transact. And again, sign, sign transaction and we wait. There you go, transaction is confirmed and our mission here is done. Now in terms of socials, obviously subscribe to Twitter and the Discord of the Shardim itself and also the projects that you like and want to follow. I found the Zilli page for Shardoom. However, this is not listed on the Shardoom official channels. At least I wasn't able to find this link actually anywhere. So it's possible that it's compiled by a third party. So I'll link it in description, but it's really up to you whether or not to spend time doing the tasks. That's pretty much it for today. Again, network is not doing that great. So we'll have to wait until they fix it. And the beta net is actually going to function properly and we'll see what applications are going to prevail on Shardium. Obviously I will do an update. Actually, I'm coming to the realization that for every like top tier project, uh, there must be like a series of ecosystem updates constantly because things change so fast. You do a video and like in one or two weeks, it's already needs an update. As you've probably noticed, I'm not yet set on the format of the update videos for the chains, but I'll definitely try to do my best in terms of uh, keeping you guys informed. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss updates. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like and I'll see you soon.